Hey guys, I've been wanting to do aquaponics and grow veggies in my kitchen for a while, so I decided to do that this time. I cannot wait to use the veggies I'll grow for my next video. I started by making a rack slash cat gourd that goes around the tank first. Excuse me, thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you. The tank is 45 centimeter wide and 27 centimeter deep, which is the biggest size I could safely fit on my kitchen counter. I finished most of the layout before pouring water in the tank. Curious? I hope they sprout. Wish me luck, buddy. Hey, Pookie. You like it there? <laughs> hey, buddy. You curious? <laughs> Next, I peeled off the bark and boiled the branches to sanitize them. Hey, buddy. I need that. <laughs> Nope. I was able to buy driftwood with thin branches, which I combined with driftwood I collected to make it look like a bonsai tree. Okay. Okay, which one do you think I should use? That one? To make the bonsai, I glue spiky moss to the tree with a glue that's safe for aquariums. Actually, the first time some part of the moss didn't do well, so I trimmed it and added some more, and from then it was fine. Next, I made aquaponic planter. I was able to get everything I needed from a dollar store. Stop shaking the tripod. Nagi, stop shaking the tripod. Nagi! <laughs> Are you upset with me? I'm sorry. Okay, can I have it? 
push me like Nagi. If I. Yeah. Done. Hmm? Oh, you want food. Okay. <laughs> I'll feed you now. This size of tank is perfect for a beta fish. Say hello to Thunder. This is a CO2 diffuser, which helps plants grow better. He likes the salvinia a lot, but salvinia grows so quickly that I've already had to thin it out once after only a week. I put a little air tube glued in circle that can float on the surface so that Thunder has always a spot to get oxygen, even if the salvinia grows out of control. You can grow directly from seeds like this. They sprout it quickly. Or you can even buy sprouts from grocery store and plant them in a tank. These reddish sprouts have been in a tank for three days, and the leaves have already grown much bigger. The basil and parsley I grew from seeds. I've already harvested some to eat. They were delicious. The filter tank water runs through the aquaponics section before going back into the tank. Normally I have a lid so the beta cannot jump out, and a water dispenser next to the tank so cats can't get too close. Transferring fish can be really stressful, and Thunder's fins ripped a little while he was in the bag waiting to adjust to his new home, but they healed in only a couple days. I also have a few almond shrimp. Some beta will attack shrimp, so you should have a backup plan if you want to try. Thunder was curious at first, but now he doesn't care about them at all. Thank you for watching, see you guys later.